Hi, everybody. I'm Jim Stavridis, the Dean of the Fletcher School of Law and Diplomacy here at Tufts University on a very beautiful spring day. Things have finally, finally really warmed up. I think it's going to hit uh, maybe 85 today. And I'm standing here with a couple of wonderful publications that epitomize the absolutely terrific graduation weekend that we just completed. Um, let me tell you what happened. We have Class Day, which is really where we give out a lot of awards, but most importantly, we welcome the graduating class, class of 2015, to the ranks of the alumni as the new class that are now going to be alumni. And for that, this year we had two absolutely terrific speakers. We had Charles DeLara, very distinguished PhD graduate of the Fletcher School and a former leader of the global finance community. He gave a wonderful talk about the world and how his Fletcher education truly helped him as he did, for example, save the euro and help with the Greek crisis uh, last year. There are many graduation ceremonies around Boston this weekend, many degrees being dispensed. No one else will receive the Fletcher prism through which you will be able to view the world with special clarity. This unique opportunity to study in this highly charged, intellectually challenging, multidisciplinary environment is so powerful to your potential capacity to contribute to the world's solutions of the world's problems. Then we had a speech from the former UN High Commissioner for Human Rights, Navi Pillay, a jurist and extraordinary woman. She gave a very challenging speech about all of the difficulties around the world, even here in the United States, and she challenged our graduates to take on those kind of difficult, difficult efforts as they take their Fletcher degrees into the world. And as you collect your well-earned degrees today and embark on a new career, may I urge you to consider moving to a different country, assume new responsibilities, and have a life in which you take pride for being a member of the many different communities. That's your own family, the Fletcher family, of course, and many other families and communities. And last but not least, the international community made of all the people of the world. All that happens on Saturday. And then Sunday, of course, is really the graduation day, the commencement. Starts off with Tufts University. Madeleine Albright was the speaker. We helped organize that. And former Secretary of State Albright gave a superb speech to 10,000 people right in the center of the quad. And then we came down and we spent an hour and a half handing out 290 diplomas to wonderful Fletcher graduates. Another wonderful thing about the weekend was the huge clam bake, hundreds of people, lobsters, sausage, all the trimmings out in a big tent right in front of uh, Blakely Hall. And we'd also had the opportunity to interview a, a lot of the students and the alumni. One of the reasons why I came here is because my, my thesis mentor, Professor Perry, is just retiring and he gave his farewell lecture today. So my favorite memory, my fondest memory by far, is sitting down listening to uh, Professor Perry and learning from Professor Perry and listening to his lectures, which were poignant, articulate, and uh, filled with wisdom and knowledge that encapsulates Fletcher and the experience of Fletcher. Fletcher's been a backbone builder for me in terms of uh, energy issues, environmental issues. I was able to contribute a little bit to the development of the International Center for Environmental Affairs and close friends with uh, the current acting director. What a weekend and very interdisciplinary if you stop and think about it. Here you have a dean who's a former senior military person, a former secretary of state, a diplomat giving a speech, a UN human rights commissioner, all of this tied together by an economist like Charles DeLara. It was really a Fletcher kind of weekend, multidisciplinary, but also just a lot of fun. Wish you could have been here. All of our alumni are welcome at any graduation. I hope I see you here in Medford next May. Thanks.